So the South Island kind of looks a bit like that. And um, so this is the 40th parallel here. It's on a big long island. Um, Central Otago is down on the east side of the mountain range, which comes down this side of it. And uh, the as the rain shadow comes across, it drops five to 10 meters of rain on this side, one of the wettest places in the planet. And as it rolls across, as the clouds roll off down the valley on the eastern side, they dry out the further you get away from that main divide. So, so I'm saying Wanaka, is, or the upper Clutha Basin is on the cusp of that. So we're not necessarily wetter, although we do have a higher rainfall that's uh, mostly falls in winter, but it's less exposure. You, you have clouds coming over, whereas as they dissipate as they go off the east and roll across the, the island. And so the further you get away, the hotter and the colder and the drier it gets. So from Wanaka on a linear sort of axis, you have Wanaka and Bendigo, and further down you've got the sort of Cromwell Basin, Bannockburn, and then all the way to Alexandra. By the time that gets to Alexandra, now it's sucking moisture out of the soil. Alexandra's New Zealand's hottest and coldest and driest place, has all those extremes. Uh, but where we are, we're sort of the most temperate of that. Still very, much, very proudly part of Central Otago, uh, uh, but we are the most temperate environment within that. Uh, if you're looking at, um, this is a sort of a linear sort of uh, uh, axis, well, the one clear one that I've left out of all of that, and a very important one, is Gibston Valley, which comes in from a more southwesterly um, aspect, and it drains air from the um, from the uh, Wakatipu Basin, which is again more aligned with sort of Fiordland and deeper deeper valleys uh, where Queenstown is and what have you. And so this is draining cooler air that's drawn out from further south from the, um, from, uh, the southwest, and so it's slightly higher and cooler again. Uh, so it's for me, it's slightly off that axis. Um, but so you've got Central Otago is a really large place when you look at it from the um, you know bird's eye view looking down. But in actual fact, the plantable area is just it's a, it's a Y. It's a um, two valley systems: um, the Kaurau and the and the um, Clutha, um, the confluence at Cromwell. So at the top of each, as you say, you've got Queenstown and Wanaka at the top of each of the Y, and you've got Gibston Valley here and Wanaka all the way through Bendigo down to through the Cromwell Basin to meet at Cromwell to meet at Bendigo, let's say, and then all the way down. You've got Alex at the bottom of the Y. And that's in a very, very simple, readable uh, valley system. It looks really big and daunting when you're looking down on it because it is a large area, but there's just mountains between it. So the plantable area is actually very well, quite organised in, in, in effect. essentially going